1865, the South is actually debating emancipation. Sometimes that gets exaggerated. What they were really debating was whether to enlist slaves in the Confederate Army. And if they did, would those slaves and maybe their families earn freedom uh, uh, fighting for the Confederacy? Uh, and the Confederate Congress in March 1865 did pass a bill called the Negro Soldier Bill um, providing for the enlistment of a certain number of slaves, but uh, they, they could not free those slaves. That would have to be up to the states themselves or to the masters uh, to free the slaves. And, and there was a lot of ambiguity and ambivalence in the South about whether this really was an emancipation measure. Maybe if 100,000 slaves help us turn this war around, uh, they might earn their freedom as a reward for it, but that won't end the institution of slavery. And so there was actually a pro-slavery dimension to this argument, well, we'll free some of the slaves in order to win this war. But this was, this was an, a last gasp act of desperation. And even then, it passed by only one vote in the Confederate Senate, one vote in March of 1865 when the enemy was thundering at the gates. So it, it doesn't necessarily represent a Confederate repudiation of slavery. This excerpt is brought to you by the Massachusetts School of Law, the leader of reform in legal education and a leader in multimedia education for the public. To view the full interview and for a full listing of MSL's programs, log on to mslaw.edu.